Hi, in this screencast we're going to talk about another way of adding CSS into your HTML page. Sometimes you'll have classes that you would like to reuse on a different page. Uh, if you always have to code the same style again in each of your HTML page, uh, it'll become very troublesome. Just imagine if you have to change the same class throughout all your web pages. Therefore, uh, CSS allows you to create an external style sheet and be linked to any of your HTML pages. Okay, so CSS provides us with two ways to do it. One is called importing, and another way is called linking. Okay, so let's look at both ways. And uh, I have a CSS folder. Look at the structure here. I have page one HTML and I have page two HTML. Let's see what it looks like in the browser right now. So this is page one. Okay, it's black. It's um, uh, let's view source on it. Okay, so uh, it's HTML style is empty. Okay, it's H1 with class picks uh, but since class picks isn't defined anywhere inside this page so it's ignored it's as if nothing was there by the browser so we basically have a h1 tag okay we have an anchor tag a link tag to page 2.html okay so you can click to page 2 this is page 2 uh, same source for page two right now, so uh, there's no style sheet. Go back to page one, page two, page one. Okay, let's minimize this, and uh, let's open up the style sheet. Okay, and let's open with top style. Okay, I have a pix class that's defining font size to 22 pixels and setting the text color to maroon okay and let's also open page one with top style okay as well as page two with top style okay so now we have page one page two they're the same uh, same page basically so what we want to do let's use page one and let's do import okay so in order to import the CSS file you have to do it inside your style tag and do at the at sign is shift to import a space URL bracket and then semicolon Inside the bracket, you have quotes, and then do the style sheet uh, file name, which is style.css. Okay, so you can see this is the file style.css. Okay, and so because they're in the same directory, uh, same level, so I don't have to go into, for example, style slash style.css. Okay. They're in the same level, so you can just do style.css. This is called at import. Okay, let's save it. Let's minimize it. And let's bring back the browser. This is page one. Look at me, I'm going to refresh. So the text changed from black to maroon, and also the size, size changed from. Uh, the default for um, headed h1 tag to 20, 22 pixels. Okay, we've defined it to become 22 pixels. If you link to page two, you still have this because we didn't send any class to it. Okay, so page one, page two. Let's stay at page two and minimize it. And let's bring back top style. Okay, so this is one way of uh, linking the style sheet. Okay. Let's try the second way. Uh, second way, you don't actually need the style tag. Let's take it out. But inside the head tag, okay, you do link 
link, ta link tag is what you need. Type equals text. Oh, it's autofill, top style. Okay. And um, rel also prefill. Okay. And then you want to pick style sheet. Okay. And then you do um, href. It's like the linking, right? And you choose the URL, which is style.css. Save it. Minimize it. Bring back the browser and then refresh. So now you see page two. Page two's uh, header is also changed. Okay, to 22 pixels and maroon. Okay, let's link between the two pages. So you'll see. Okay. And uh, that is linking and importing. Uh, importing is um, what's preferred right now, um, but I use linking a lot too. Uh, so use interchangeably and uh, see which one gives you uh, the fastest page loading time with no um, rendering issues. Okay, and that's it. Thank you.